welcome to another video from Broken Toad, Black Sun and the Jim Henson Company. Today we're going to be building Jen and Kira on their land striders. Uh, we'll split the video up into two parts. So the first half will be Kira on her land strider and at 10 minutes 30 there will be Jen on his land strider. So first of all make sure you wash your parts in warm soapy water and then clean off any uh, mold lines as you can see we're doing here to make sure you get a good fit uh, on the legs. So it's all relatively simple. Uh, there are a few things to note when you are building them and make sure again mold lines are cleaned off. A little bit of sandpaper will work wonders here but uh, don't go too mad with it. There are fur textures on the legs and you don't want to uh, you don't want to rub those off. So the legs will only fit in one position so make sure you test fit everything before gluing and after each leg is glued on and is secure just pop it on the base briefly and just see how it looks and you'll get an idea of how it's going to sit on the base like so what we're going to be doing as well is when we build Kira herself we're going to be building it in such a way that she can be removed for for painting as well nice little touch with all the extra components that go on to her can be attached purely just to her so the whole thing can be taken off so here we're working on the second back leg again if you're familiar with pinning you can pin these but the super glue secures them very very well because there's a joint uh, it's nice and secure on the body and then there's another secure joint at the foot as well, so it is quite strong. If you want to, you can sand some of those joins down, which will smooth them out quite nicely. Or if you want to enhance your model even more, uh, there will be another video on sculpting extra fur and filling any joins and things with green stuff putty. Again, most of the gates, the uh, resin casting gates are on the inside of the joins, so you'll need to clean those off just to get a good fit. This is the last leg. So again, there's a small casting gate at the top, which you'll need to trim that off. Obviously be very, very careful with your sharp scalpel. Please cut away from yourself. Force of habit means I do tend to cut towards myself, but that's from years and years of hobbying practice. As you can see, it all fits exceptionally well into the base. Um, you don't need to glue it just yet for ease of use. It might be better to keep it off the base because it is quite a heavy base. So when dealing with the Kira model, use a little bit of blue tack to stick her in place. Only a small bit because you don't want her to sit up too much, which means that when you glue everything on, you glue the extra parts such a fizz gig here. You can glue those just to Kira on her own. And that means you can take off the whole thing once it's all dried. So there's a little casting gate on the back of fizz gig. 
which will need to be cut off. Make sure you don't go too far because it's right next to the, the square peg that fits onto Kira herself. Just there. So once that's cleaned up, we can look at the hand. Now this hand does have a clump of fur in it to simulate being uh, grabbing onto the, uh, the fur of the land strider as she's riding. So we just trim off the excess around the peg that goes into her wrist. Just be very, very careful. And again, test fit everything. quite a fiddly piece so just be very careful with it and that's how it should look next we'll uh, clean off the casting gate from her other arm slots up into the gap between her hair and her body. So a little bit of super glue for attaching Fizzgig. Make sure you don't put too much on there. You don't want it to run into the join um, where she sat on the Landstrider. You don't want to accidentally partially glue her to the Landstrider. So that's with Fizzgig and her left arm in place. And now we're going to do the fiddly part of the hand. And if you're wondering what the green is on the Land Strider, that's green stuff putty, where we've just enhanced the model by sculpting in some fur texture. And of course, as I said earlier, there'll be a separate video all about that if that interests you. So gentle application with some tweezers will go a long way here. Just be careful when dealing with resin parts and tweezers, you don't want to grip too hard otherwise they can become dislodged very very easily and very very quickly and you may never find them again. And because we put the glue sack on there, she can be removed as one piece, which is excellent for painting because you can blue tack her to the top of an old paint pot and uh, prime her and paint her. Now the last final bits are the ears for the Land Strider, which will just need these little tabs taking off. Again, they only fit in one way, so just give them a test fit, make sure you know which ones are which and which side they go on. So these are the whiskers or tendrils. They're very, very delicate. Um, they curve inwards on the model. So they sort of get swept back, but we'll cover those in building gen. 
Right, same process again. Give everything a good wash, sand everything down. Make sure there's no mold lines. And again, everything will fit in only one place, so you can't mix these legs up. That's with everything glued down and glued into the base. Very imposing models that will make a great display for you. And the same thing applies with building Gen. We'll use a bit of blue tack to get him onto the uh, onto the land strider. so he can be removed for painting. Uh, these are the tendrils. Cleaning them down a little bit of a brush with uh, an old or spare toothbrush, just to remove a bit of excess flash and then just scrape them down with a knife. Make sure you support them with your, your finger because um, you don't want to apply too much pressure on them because they're very fragile and they could break. And don't cut off the tab on the end of them to start with because you can hold them by that, which makes this whole process a lot easier. See, there's a little bit of extra resin on the one whisker, so we'll just trim that off. And then we'll trim the tabs off. And that's how they fit on the model. They sort of sweep inwards. Very, very careful when dealing with the scalpel again. They are a little bit fiddly, but they look fantastic once they're on. So I've got some angled tweezers here. which are a little bit flatter, so they're better for holding things like this. So a little dab of super glue on the end. And then pop them in place. Make sure you hold them there for a few seconds so the glue has time to set. There we go see how they sweep towards the back of the, uh, the animal as well. Second one, be very, very careful. There we go. Again, for the ears, just cut the tab off and they can only fit in one place. There's a little mold line on the outer edge of this one as well, so just give that a quick scrape. And then we can 
pop the ears in. So we'll get the other ear in, and that's both of them in. That's looking pretty good now. So we'll make a start on Jen himself. Uh, there are a couple of components. There is, there's his cloak, which we'll just need a quick brush down and just fits very nicely in the back there. Now you could just glue that straight on the uh, onto him. Uh, it is a nice connection and and sits very very well. But just to make sure, it is better to blue tack him in place and then glue it to his back whilst he's on the land strider, just so you can make sure everything's sat properly. For his arms, just trim off the tabs. Make sure there's no mould lines. Give them a quick scrape down if needs be. We'll get some blue tack on there. You don't want the blue tack on the square peg underneath him uh, because that will sit, make him sit up far too high. So you just want it to the side so the square peg can go in and you can sort of squash him down onto the model and then test fit the arms. for some of the uh, in and out of focus shots. It's quite a tall model. A little bit of super glue on the arms, just on the arms themselves. Obviously we don't want to glue them straight to the land strider. Just yet anyway. and the piece of cloth sits behind the ears of the Landstrider. And then we'll do his other arm. Because this fits up into a gap, you want to apply a bit of super glue to both sides of the, of the top of the arm on this side. Just be very gentle and very methodical with what you're doing. If you have time and patience, everything will be absolutely fine. There we go, that's looking pretty good now. So last piece of the puzzle is just getting his cloak in place, which is just a little bit of super glue across the top, at least for the moment and glue it straight onto his back. And there we have it, Jen on his Landstrider. Another fantastic model, beautiful detail and beautiful sculpting. But quite tall and difficult to film. So, I hope that's been helpful to everybody and I hope that you will continue watching uh, these build videos from Broken Toad, Black Sun Miniatures and the Jim Henson Company. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.